So far, I've platinumed the 2018 God of War and God of War 3. Now it's time to platinum the rest of the God of War games in this video, besides Ragnarok that will be coming after Christmas. Okay, here we- oh my gosh, I'm getting destroyed. Look at how much different this is from like the modern day God of War games, like Ragnarok and like the new ones. I haven't played Ragnarok yet, but I know what it looks like. So I'm playing on normal difficulty because there's a trophy and there's several missable trophies I have to look out for in this playthrough, so hopefully we don't miss any. But there's a missable trophy for reducing your difficulty to easy and in order to do that i just have to like die a lot on a certain section and then the game will like ask me to reduce the difficulty there's a lot of collectibles i have to look out for too so hopefully we don't miss anything so i started playing through the story naturally and unlocking trophies on the way okay this is one of the trophies one of the missable trophies there's these two women here in the bed we press r2 we've reached athens get your things and get out yo that man is brutal you heard that okay we jump in the bed press circle and from here you basically just press the button prompts and do the little turns in the stick the vase falls and you get your trophy and they gave me rocking the boat from here i just continued enjoying the story and getting those trophies preparing for the next missable one i would have to worry about kratos marble collection we have to save this lady oh my gosh in in the 70 seconds for this ah! come on this is a missable trophy we need to do this the timer's at 50 seconds we have to save her before that timer runs out. Come on. I'm so slow. Am I supposed to go up? I feel like I'm not. Okay, yes. We go. Ugh. Okay. 30 seconds. Walk across this. 23 seconds. 18 seconds. Oh my gosh. 15 seconds. What is this? Oh, seven seconds. Let's go. Why did she just, why did her appearance just change in a cutscene? I just realized I was supposed to save her with 10 seconds at least left on the clock and it was like seven. So I have to restart. It doesn't even let me, I just missed. Oh man. I can't even restart the checkpoint over. I just missed that trophy. It's okay because we still have to do a full game speed run so I can get the trophy in that second playthrough, but it's annoying that I missed it here first. Now I figured it was a good time to go for that other missable trophy I mentioned earlier about lowering the difficulty. I found this little spike part of the map where you just run into it and you can die really fast. I killed myself multiple times with this until I got the trophy. Oh, let's go, we got it. And from there it was back to the story related trophies again. Meanwhile, focusing on getting all the collectibles in my first playthrough. Key to success, let's go. Okay, I'm about to get a trophy right here for making love with this, I don't know what this is, a naiad? The child of Poseidon, many have drowned longing for her embrace. Okay, how do I make out with her though? Okay, I have to press circle right here. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, making love to some purple light underwater. Don't know what this is, but that's gonna give us, there it is, splash. And then I'd have to make out with another one for another trophy. Can you give me the last phoenix feather? I think it might. Yeah. Is this the last one? It was! Stick it in your cap. Let's go. And I continued getting more story trophies until I came to the last missable trophy. I think right here is the last missable trophy of the game. So I have to climb this pillar. As you can see, it has these blades on it without touching any of the blades. So can we do this first try? That would be lovely if we could. There's no time limit, so I'm free to take my time here. And that's precisely what I would do. Eh. All right, second try. Let's do it. I don't know how far up we have to climb. That's the problem. Wait for this blade to go by. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're doing we're doing pretty, pretty. No, 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 no. No! I'm getting it third time's a charm right here. Watch. All right, cool, cool, cool. Right, in, yep, right past. Climb, Kratos, climb. No, wait, wait for that to pass. Go up, 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 up. I think we're, I think we're nearing the top right here. I'm getting kind of scared. Here's the top, here's the top right here. Go! Yes! Where's the trophy? Where's the trophy? Where's the trophy? Yes! You got the touch. We did it. After this, I finished off the rest of the story trophies, fought the final boss, and then it was on to something that was really tough. God killer! Okay, apparently this trophy I'm about to go for is the hardest in the game. Here it says challenge of the gods. 10 rooms, 10 challenges. Can you make it to the end? Let's see. Knock eight enemies off the platform before the time runs out. Okay. Killing an enemy will fail the challenge. No way. How much time do I have? Okay, it says 50 seconds. Oh my gosh. 
I don't know how to how do I knock him off? I failed? Okay, we knocked one off, then I killed the dude by accident. What? So I looked up a quick guide to help me figure out how to do this. Yes, okay, that's how you do it. Yes, you try to grab them and they fall off. I gotta make sure I don't um get rid of their shields though, because if I if I do. Like, this guy has no shield, and it'll let me grab him. The point is, I can't grab him because he has a shield. And that is how I can push them off the edge. Okay, so now everyone has a shield again. We're not going to get rid of any of their shields. So we're just going to try to grab him and knock him off that way. Look, that dude is done. Okay. I think that's like three or four. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. I can, I, I can push him off that side too, I believe. Yes! You have succeeded. Your next challenge awaits. Over the course of the 10 challenges, you had to do stuff like shoot enemies with ballistas, kill enemies under a certain amount of time, destroy breakable objects. And some of these were more challenging than others, but the last one was absolutely torturous. Even the trophy guide says, this challenge sucks big time. I platinum this game twice and must have made a hundred attempts or more at this challenge. Bring it on. And for this, you have to kill enemies to make the platform rise, reach the top of the platform to beat the challenge. I can't fall off the, yep, that's why I'll get knocked off the edge so many times. That's that's what's going to make me uh, struggle so much. Yep, there it is again. Look at this, look at this, look, man just tossed me off. Bruh, this is insane, this is actually insane. Bruh, literally, I can't even move, man, like, I'm getting hit with the multi-piece combo. Listen, they're hitting me with a, like a 10, 20 piece combo. It became clear quickly that my strategy of winging it and trying to win was not gonna work. So I developed a new strategy. Spam this one attack and try to win doing this. Oh, thank God. You put me back in the middle, in the middle. Let's go. Oh, I was so close. Come on, it's right there. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, I'm literally right there. Come on. <laughs> Didn't seem like that strategy was gonna work either. So I used the one that was provided in the trophy guide. Stand in the middle of the platform and spam L1 to block until you trigger a deflect animation. Press square and then it does like this swing attack that sends everyone flying off the platform. Do this until you get all the way up to the top. jump yes yes you've been all the god challenges oh yes i'll take the physical challenge Ooh. man that last one was so tough all right so it's time to start a new game for two trophies plus a speed run trophy that's the last ones i need for the platinum so we're gonna select Ares armor and this is what I'm gonna run through this speed run with it needs to be done in five hours last time we missed this trophy oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh we came short by a few seconds and I'm doing the speed run of the game right now and I'm not gonna miss this trophy again I refuse look I'm so much faster this time I have so much more experience with this we got 29 seconds we're way ahead of time and here we are we're gonna save her and get the trophy don't leave her hanging, let's go. I also needed a trophy for upgrading every weapon in the game. In this menu, you can see them all. The last thing I need is the Blade of Artemis. It's level two. I need to get to level three. I need to use red orbs to upgrade it. So here I was upgrading it for the last time. Oh, we got it. Seeing red, I did not know I was gonna get it there. Let's go. One more trophy for this platinum. Okay, so we are at the end of the game. This is the last boss fight right here. This speed run has been pretty chill. This armor that I'm wearing makes me do double damage and also makes me or allows me to collect two times the amount of orbs. Now, I know I didn't show much of the speed run because there really isn't much to show, but this uh, should be ending up here pretty soon because, I mean, he can't really stop me with this armor. Like, look, he's already done. And right here at the save point, we can see how much time this speed run actually took me. Three hours and 38 minutes, okay. So we simply go up to the throne right here and I think the trophy should pop. Congratulations, you've completed God of War. Come on. Speed of Jason McDonald. 
and we get trophy of zeus platinum trophy the first god of war game is down let's move on into god of war 2 god of war 2 and god of war 1 are very similar games their trophy lists are also very similar however this one's supposed to be easier but man things got really tough later on in this game for some reason the trophy guide says this is a 3 out of 10 i think this is an absolute lie nevertheless i started getting all the story related trophies because most of the trophies just were related to the story it was after this step when the real difficulty came and just like that, we finished God of War 2 story. Right here, we have to do more challenges of the gods. So for challenge number one, rip out the Cyclops eye before the time runs out. Now there's only seven of them in God of War 2 as opposed to the 10 that there were in God of War 1. But before finishing all of them, we actually have to uh, get this other trophy where we get Cyclops eyes. We need 20 of them for the trophy. Oh my gosh, the time's running out. And I failed, I forgot that there was a timer. Yes. Let's go, we got one. We got three out of 20. So we're gonna save progress and then repeat that over and over again. That's it. You've collected 20 Cyclops eyes bonus costume unlocked. Would you like to save your progress? Absolutely. And we get the eyesore trophy. Kill at least 10 enemies in the air. That gotta be the way to do it. Come on! Bro, this is pissing me off, man. Why did they make this like this? It's one. That's two. Yes! Let's go, we got three. Yes, that's four. This is our best attempt right here. She's trying to freeze me. Can you stop trying to freeze me, lady? Thank you. Okay, we got five. We have 58 seconds to get five more. I don't think I can do this, man. These guys just keep swinging. You, 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 he, he literally just missed. And I'm low on health. Okay, we got six. Seven. We ended up getting eight. Oh my gosh, closest attempt. Now that I had some experience, I was able to come up with a master plan to do this. Okay, we got one. Two. Three. Look at that. Perfect. Taking out this stupid Gorgon because she's always the reason why I lose. Yes, we got we got her. We killed her. And we killed her in midair too. Spam this. Just like that. Yes, that's five already. Six. Seven. This is so much better. This me That method was so much better. We got 10 just like that. We just have to survive. You have mastered air combat. Challenge number four was to stone shatter 25 enemies before the time runs out. Come on, get that dude. Okay, we got one. Two, three, four. I don't even remember how many I need. Lady, can you just shoot the, the freeze beam already? Like, I'm literally waiting on you. Oh my gosh. This is an a bro, these challenges are so annoying. I don't I don't understand. How am I supposed to get 25? She barely even tries to freeze me. My strategy was to run around and try to line up her freeze beam with the enemies, and this was not working at all. She doesn't try to freeze me enough for me to get 25 in the amount of time that they're giving me. She just sits back and does nothing. And I died. I am literally an idiot. I just saw a video on how to do this the right way. You're supposed to counter the uh the times when she tries to freeze you like this. Okay, not like that. Come on, do it again, lady. I'm trying to make a demonstration. Here we go. Like this. Yeah, now now it freezes. And I got two right there, and I continuously do that. Not 10, 11, let's go. This is the best way. Yes. 14. Oh, I died on 14 because she did back-to-back -back consecutive. Man. We got 15. Please just do the attack. 50 seconds left. Yeah, it's over with. 16. Okay, we can get three right here. Yes, we got 19. Do, 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 do the attack again. Hurry up, hurry up. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. We got 22. Come on, come on. Do it, do it again, do it again. 
We need three more in 17 seconds. Hurry up, hurry up. No, I got frozen by it. Do it again, hurry up. Come on. Te no! Come on, one more. Yeah, it's over with. Y yeah, it's over with. It's over. <laughs> oh my gosh. The next attempt got a little scary. Okay, we need one more, one more. Don't get frozen by it and die and we'll be good. Just use the attack, lady. We got 20 seconds left. She's not doing it. She's, she's gonna ruin it for me. Here we go. Yes! 25! Oh, man. With five seconds left on the clock. Sheesh. That was so... Oh, we got 26. That was so close. I don't know how you're supposed to get 35. Now, challenge number four made me want to pull my hair out. I think this is the hardest one out of all of them. Defend the translator from being killed. The translator's health will drain outside of the ring. They start spawning in a ton of enemies, and your job is just to protect him and move him to the other ring locations once the first one fades away. But this is so difficult. How did he take damage? What am I supposed to do? They, they just, they don't let up. I don't understand. I don't understand what, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. They literally just target him. Now you do have the ability to slow down time and this does help a bit and you're supposed to use this when transporting him from one ring to another. Despite being able to slow down time, I still was struggling majorly with this. Back up, back up. No, they killed him. Uh, come on. Oh my gosh, he's so weak. Move! Oh yeah, he's dead. Oh my, this is this challenge is so annoying. I might be able to do it right here. He's like a one shot though. We have to spam. Come on, use no 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 no. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Why did it not do the? Oh. In this attempt, I knew I was nearing the end because of the kind of enemies that were spawning in. Move, 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 move! I'm so dead. It's, it's over. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bro. This is literally the hardest thing ever. I've been on this challenge for over an hour. And nothing I seem to do works, man. This is... Oh... <sighs> But there was still one thing I hadn't tried. The Barbarian Hammer. This weapon is super strong and it actually made a huge difference in my next attempt. No, 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 no. You're not touching him. Absolutely not. You are not touching this man. As you can see in the top right, his health was super low, but I was also super close to beating this. All because of the hammer. Come on. Is this it? No way. Oh! <laughs> Over an hour! Man! Yo! Despite the tragedy, I knew I had the skills to do this now, especially with the new hammer strategy. You have- you have saved the translator! Yes! That's not happening again! Oh! Oh. Yes! 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 Challenges 5 and 6 were quite easy, so I'll just skip them. And then I got to challenge 7, which was kind of challenging, but after I saw a video on YouTube for how to do it, it was pretty simple. Come on! Yes! 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 We did it! Oh! <laughs> That's it! Bleeding thumbs! We are done with that! Okay, so for this last trophy, I'm just gonna go into the pause menu and press R1 until we get to, what, status? And then we're gonna turn two of these urns on. So, urn of Gaia, and I don't know, this one maybe. And then, is that it? Oh, that was it! We get Feel the Urn and Trophy of Gaia! God of War 2 Platinum is done. We're gonna move on to the next one. The next game was God of War Chains of Olympus. The difference between this and the previous ones is that I actually had to play this one on hard difficulty. Was it that bad? Not really, but at some points it got challenging. But my approach was the same. Get all the story-related trophies while focusing on those missable ones so you don't have to do another playthrough while also getting all the collectibles. All right, we've got this trophy here using this ballista. I think we just have to fire it at like some building so i think it's already pointed at the right direction so if we just hold it down okay this dude hello like back up or back off thank you we're supposed to aim and fire at this dude 
but obviously we don't want to do that. I think it's this building right here, actually. It has to be that one. Oh, my, bro, come on, man. Where are these guys even coming from? It's got to be that one. It has to be that one. It, I didn't get no trophy. Do I have to hit it multiple times? Oh, there it is. Collateral damage. Yeah, it did have to be multiple times. Wait, what am I saying? Multiple times. No, I'm so stupid. It happened. I just shot it once. I don't know what I'm saying. The next trophy to look out for was to get a 1,000 hit combo. Now, there's an easy place to cheese this. When you're fighting this dragon dude or whatever, he's going to put his hand up against the wall and you kind of just walk up against the wall and continuously hit the wall and it gives you hits. All right, I've been doing this for about five minutes or so and we're at 967 or 970. And we're about to get this trophy after a thousand hit combo. Imagine I mess up like right at the end, I'll be tragic. But I'm not allowing that to happen. There's 1,000 hits. Let's see the trophy pop. Heavy hitter. From there, I just kept collecting more story trophies until the next missable one. Okay, here we have a missable trophy. This is Medusa. She's gonna freeze me. And I have to break out of the freeze like that five times. So we have four more to do. Yes, we got Stoner. This next missable trophy was actually quite tedious. There's an area where you take on these enemies called, I think, Satyrs. You have to slit 50 of their throats for this trophy. But only six spawn here, so you kill five of them, then you die, and then you redo this process over and over. Finally! Mutton for punishment. Sheesh. That was a grind. Soon after that, I reached the final boss in the end of the game. Now with this boss, if you die at the start of the fight, then you have to watch some cutscene over again, which is really annoying. And I didn't really know how to beat her because I was bad, so I died a lot and accidentally got a trophy for watching this cutscene three times. Cool story, bro? What is that? But it didn't take me long to learn this boss fight and beat it, netting me three trophies for the completion of the game. Okay, we have to do this. This is what I was supposed to do last time. Oh, press square? Is that it? Hades needs a new wife. Oh, and we got it's over already. Let's go. And getting your money's worth. Okay, well, I just beat the game and there's literally only two more trophies for me to get for the platinum. One of them is to start a new game. It doesn't matter the difficulty. I'm going to put mortal and we have to put like one of these outfits on. I don't know what this is. These others are locked. So we're going for the one that looks like a potato. I don't know what this is. And we get the trophy, cosplayer. The last needed trophy for the Platinum was for more Challenge of the Gods. Now I've done this on God of War 1 and 2 already. I don't want to bore you with the same thing over and over, especially since Chains of Olympus's Challenge of the Gods were quite easier than the last two. And there's only five of them in this game. But here I'm on challenge number five and all I have to do is survive till the end for the Platinum. Who wants, who, who's next? This dude? Yeah, you're nothing, ogre man. This dude, he's nothing, bro. Look, oh, there's two of them. Just separate them. Take them on one at a time. Look, he's slow. He didn't even touch me once. He couldn't even lay a finger on me. More Gorgons? Come on. I'm just going to use this on them because I'll get some magic back from when, from when I kill them anyways. Got to be careful with these Gorgons, man. They freeze you. In your one shot. And I just kept fighting my way through this challenge until I got to the last phase where they summon these birds to try to get you. You killed all your enemies. Let's go. We're going to get the platinum right now. Woo. Piece of cake and above and beyond. Let's go. Let's go. Chains of Olympus is done. The next game was Ghost of Sparta. My approach for this was the same as Chains of Olympus. Playing through the story on hard and watching out for missable trophies was the first step. And I feel that this God of War was the easiest out of all of them. I finished the story quickly and moved on to the next step, which was Challenge of the Gods once again. Man, this is like the fourth time in this video I'm doing it. But these challenges were even easier than the other games. There was 13 of them, and you do stuff like body slam skeletons, stay airborne for 10 seconds, parry arrows that are being fired at you. Simple stuff for this game. But after completing five, I needed to unlock the rest while also going for another trophy. What you're seeing right here is the Temple of Zeus. There are these pedestals where you can pay orbs to unlock prizes. The way for me to unlock the rest of the challenge of the gods was through here But I also needed to unlock every pedestal available for a trophy and it would cost me about a million total orbs We unlocked the challenge of the gods set too. That's exactly what I needed to finish that other trophy now to actually get the million orbs I had to do a very simple method There's a combat arena mode in this game where you can set enemy spawns infinite health magic things like that And I just stood in one spot and continuously pressed left on my d-pad to send out this ball that attracts enemies and basically kills them Did this for about 20 or 30 minutes 
After that, I came back to the Temple of Zeus to unlock everything. Once you unlock all the pedestals, it opens up this place in the floor for you to go. You need to collect a shovel here. Collecting this shovel will get you the trophy. Treasure Hunter, let's go! After that, it was time to finish off the rest of the challenges. The last challenge required me to kill 10 skeletons with grabs. This was very simple as well as were the ones before. Is that the, is, I think that's the last one for the trophy. Yes, God amongst the men. And the last trophy needed for this platinum was to incinerate 500 enemies. In this game, you have the ability to use fire on your blades. I went back into the combat arena, spawned in some civilians and continuously burned them until I got this. Yes, 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 yes! It's done! Now on to God of War Ascension. To start off, we had to get one multiplayer trophy. It's just for beating the tutorial. Yeah, this is multiplayer. Huh, that's so crazy. So we just need to get through the tutorial in order to get the only multiplayer trophy on this game. Thank God there's no more because we all hate multiplayer trophies. Is this a real man? Prove your worth in a fight to the death. Let's do this. You won't, you will not defeat me. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm getting, I'm getting washed. Stupid. Yeah, I'm in it with the combo. Yeah, you don't like that, huh? He's a bot. I'm going up against a bot. There should be no reason why I'm struggling. Oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. We got him. Let's go. This man really tried it. He really tried it. Training is complete. Go claim victory champion. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this trophy. I think we just walk out here. Do you wish to leave, mortal? Yes. And that's going to give me blood oath. My first trophy of ascension. The next step was to complete the story on hard mode. So that's what I did. A lot of the trophies in this game are story related and cannot be missed. I did have to look out for some collectibles though. And for the most part, hard difficulty wasn't too painful until I got to this section of the game. This is called the Trial of Archimedes. You have to get through three phases of enemies. And if I'm on the third phase and I die, I have to restart from the beginning. Now I was struggling with this for a while and ended up finding out that this took people several hours to beat. Phase one is the hardest because you've got multiple Gorgons to deal with as well as these uh, electric witches that shoot electricity at you move bro i can't move i'm, I'm so dead i'm so dead i died yep <sighs> but through persistence and with the help of some tips online i was able to beat phase one yes yes let's go Phase one down, we've got like a little bit less than half health. Ended up taking a lot of damage at the start of phase two, leaving me very low for the end of it. I'm done. I died. Oh my gosh. My next attempt, here I am back at phase two, playing smarter this time. Let's go. We got him. Phase two is complete. Ah, we're going on to phase three. I don't think I've ever made it this far before. All right, we got this guy down. As long as we press the button prompts correctly, which we did. And we're gonna tear his guts open. We get some health back from that. Let's go. All right, okay, we got wraiths. I'm just gonna use my magic because when I kill them, they're gonna give me magic back. This might be the run. This might be the run right here. Pop it again. We want to deal as much damage as we can, as fast as we can. Pop L3 and R3. Yes, we got the rates. I think there's only one more left and then we're done. Oh wait, this guy. We got Hello Friend Trophy? I don't know what that's for. I'm ignoring that for the time being because we have to beat this or else I have to restart all the way from the beginning. It's literally just a one-on-one -on -one at this point. Yeah, GG. Trial of Archimedes is done. Man, that was tough. This literally have, has taken hours for people to complete. And I finally did it. Shortly after that, I went on to beat the game. Bond broken. All right, so I've completed the game. Now I have to get this fully loaded trophy, which I ended up missing during my playthrough, which sucks. So this is the way to do it. I had to do chapter select. And uh, we're going to farm some orbs here. The fully loaded trophies for upgrading Kratos to the max. 
This is a section of the game where as long as you don't throw anyone into the fire, you can have infinitely spawning enemies. And if I kill them a certain way, I get 200 orbs per kill. I had to farm this for maybe half an hour or so before I was able to fully upgrade everything. And once I did, I had to get to a later section of the game in order to unlock the trophy. Yes! Fully loaded! And the rest of the trophies were very similar in nature where you just had to do some very monotonous grind in order to get them. Like this one where I was waiting for them to stop attacking me so I can use the amulet on them to slow them down for a trophy. I had to do this 100 times. Yes! Oh, hold still please. Oh, that was so close. I was like one shot. And this one where I continuously attack the wall for an 1000 hit combo. No clue how this makes any sense, but I'm not complaining. That's it. 1000 hit combo. Yes, can't stop, won't stop, bad boy. Let's go. Okay, I'm scared for this trophy that I'm about to do right here. I have to go down this place without dying. This slide right here, I have to complete this without dying. If I fail, I have to go through a very long fight sequence all over again. So we have to get this done first try. On the trophy guide, it says if you fail just to upload your save to uh, cloud. And I shouldn't even be talking as I'm doing this because I need to lock in. Oh my gosh. No! If I was on PS3, I'd be able to upload it to the cloud and be able to retry it through there, but I'm on premium, so that's not an option for me, which is just tragic. And because I failed, I had to go through this intense fight sequence versus these huge elephants and a bunch of other enemies that is really tough. And each time I fail, I would have to redo this, and this would take me a while to get through. And I locked in on this fight until I was able to get it done again. All right, here's attempt number two. We just finished off the fight. It took a little bit, but let me not die. Watch me die right at the, right at the start. I'm so scared right now. Okay, we got past that part. Let's just get past the part where I died on before, and then I would feel confident in doing the rest of this. So, let's go left here. This is where I died at before. Jump! Okay, okay, so far so good. A little bit left to go. Hit this. Okay, now we're gonna go on this side. And then we just made it meet, eh, need to make a couple turns and we should be good. Okay, I think we're going to get it here. As long as we jump here at the end and we don't forget to jump. We press X on the prompt. Yes. Okay, we did it. Yes, lubed up. All right, here we go. The last trophy needed for the platinum is obtained right here in this elevator. The trophy guide says, get ready to pull your hair out because this one can be infuriating. So basically, I stand on these buttons and the elevator rises. And you see these fire traps along the wall? I have to get through this elevator without getting hit by any of the fire traps. So I can summon basically a clone of me to, to continuously press on that button as the elevator rises. But you're going to see here, enemies are going to spawn in and try to kill me. And that's where the challenge begins. Yep, here they are. So trying to make it to the top of the elevator while like staying alive and avoiding the fire, like avoiding any damage from the fire traps is going to be the main concern. That's how we get this this trophy right here. They just spawned in a Talon, which is this big knight dude in the middle. So far, I'm doing all right. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ooh, I was, that was so close. I was so close to the fire. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm pressing R2 to use my special. And I'm, I get invincibility frames while I'm using the, or not special, but using magic. Okay, no fire here. Why is there no more fire? There's no way it's that simple. Well, we still have to finish off the enemies, so we're not quite done just yet. But if we just kill them so easily like this, then I guess we'll get it done first try. Yes, the Talon is down. Now we just gotta worry about these smaller enemies. I think we'll have our Platinum. Last enemy. Okay, last enemy's down. Now we wait until the elevator, wait for the trophy to pop. I didn't hit the fire at all. Fireproof. And we got Champion of the Gods. We got that done first try. God of War Ascension is down. And there's every PS3 God of War Platinum. If you want to see the 2018 God of War, I made a separate video for that right here.